Welcome back to this series about virus production. Today we will talk about the upstream challenges or the virus propagation ones. And you can choose between transfection or infection for your virus propagation. Baculivirus systems can also be used in the case of adeno-associated viruses. And if efficient packaging cell lines are available, think about using them for your higher production volumes. The host cell line can be cultured in adherent static mode or in single cell suspension in bioreactors. Suspension culture is always easy to scale up. However, some cell lines require adherent culture. Adherent culture can facilitate transfection. Another alternative is to use microcarriers to expand adherent cells in stir tank bioreactors. As mentioned previously in the episode about regulatory requirements, all raw materials need to be compatible with GMP production. It is also recommended to avoid all animal derived components such as serum and use chemically defined cell culture media. Single use bioreactors are now state of the art for viral vector production. The advantages are faster changeover between batches and less risk of cross contamination. Single use bioreactors can also help you to make your facilities more productive and flexible. To ensure efficient virus propagation and a robust upstream process, make sure to optimize parameters such as multiplicity of infection, time of infection and finally time of harvest. In conclusion, cell culture and virus propagation need to be optimized in order to ensure the highest possible virus titer. And regulatory and process economy demands can be met by using modern and scalable upstream technologies. In the next episode, we will talk about the downstream challenges. If you want to learn more about optimizing upstream processes, please visit our web.